Hello and welcome to another Rygate Maths video. My name is Simon and in this video we're going to be focusing on the topic of variable acceleration. So looking at differentiation and integration in mechanics. In this video we're going to look at how we can use the principles from the previous two videos to derive the equations of motion for constant acceleration otherwise known as the Subat equations. So here with the Subat equations we can find by using integration and differentiation we can derive these without having to use them. So typically these questions in the exam are going to be very prescriptive. They have to be, otherwise you could just use SUVAT. It's going to use this phrase or something similar. Use calculus means differentiation or integration. So it's important that you read the question to be able to answer it completely. So, we're given that the initial velocity is 7. Okay, so we know when t is 0, v is 7. We also know that a is 10. And we're trying to prove that v is t plus 10t. We know that v is the integral of acceleration with respect to time, so it's the integral of 10. So v is 10t plus c. As we've said, when t is 0, v is 7, so therefore 7 equals 10 times 0 plus c, c is 7, so therefore v is 10t plus 7 as required. Obviously we could have used one of the Subat equations v equals u plus at to get this and that's effectively what we've done. Don't forget if you think v is the integral of a if we don't know what a is, v is a t plus c. When t is 0, v is u, because it's the initial acceleration, so therefore c is u. So therefore v equals u plus a t, as we know from the Subat equations. So you may be asked to derive some Subat equations using calculus and this is how you do it. But that's effectively what we've done here. We've just used v equals u plus at in a different way. Now looking at part b, given that the initial displacement is 3, show that s equals 7t plus 5t squared plus 3. So again we know that s is the integral of v so we know s is going to be 7 plus 10t integrated. So 7t plus 5t squared plus c. The initial displacement is 3. So we know that when t equals 0, s equals 3. So c equals 3. So therefore, s equals 7t plus 5t squared plus 3. Again, we could use this method to derive one of the Subat equations. We know s is the integral of v, and so we know it's the integral of u plus at. Integrating ut plus a half at squared, which is the Subat equation that we've been dealing with 
plus c. Now for the standard SUVAT equation, our initial displacement is zero because the SUVAT equations are always respect to a starting origin, whereas here we had an initial displacement of three. But again, if we wanted to use calculus to derive some of the SUVAT equations, we could do so. So that's the nice thing about kind of the variable acceleration with differentiation and integration is that you can use it for both SUVAT, so constant acceleration stuff, as well as when acceleration is a function of t. And that's it for variable acceleration, looking at the SUVAT topic. Thank you for watching.